And that, ladies and gentlemen, was Jennifer Pendergast. Absolutely phenomenal, landing some incredible points uh, and insights in uh, that keynote address as she took on the topic of continuity and longevity and why family businesses withstand crises. And I'm certain that as you listen to her, you, just like me, were probably taking on a lot of notes because a lot of what she said is certainly more than just gold and is going to uh, uh, inform the strategies uh, that we put into play going forward. A very big thank you to Jennifer Pendergast uh, on that uh, exceptional keynote address that she's just shared with us. And that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to uh, the close of the first of its kind virtual event on the African continent focused on African family businesses. We started off our time together noting that we were bringing together in excess of 100 chief executive officers and shareholders of African family businesses to have real conversations about how do we navigate this crisis, but in addition to that, how we begin to make the most of opportunities that are coming up in the future. I'd like to extend a very, very big thank you, firstly, uh, to the Africa CEO Forum, the entire team, uh, of course, made possible by the founder and president, uh, Amir Ben Yamed, who joined us in our opening ceremony yesterday. A big congratulations and a big thank you to the team. A big congratulations and a big thank you to our sponsors as well, who have made this uh, milestone possible and this virtual event a possibility for all of us. I would be amiss if I didn't recognize all the speakers or the moderators or the facilitators who all brought their very best into this conversation, putting their best foot forward with all their insights, with all their contributions, and they have made for really meaningful and rich conversations. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, none of this would have been possible without you. So to each and every one of you, that logged in from wherever you logged in, in from the world. We are exceptionally grateful for your participation and we look forward to continuing the conversation with you as well. A big congratulations as well to uh, everyone who amplified this conversation on social media. Let's remember that the hashtag ACF of Family Business allows us to continue the conversation even beyond this virtual event. I hope you had the opportunity to engage with our virtual expo, to connect with our partners, because all of this has been part of a comprehensive uh, virtual experience that has been curated and put together for you. Now, before I sign off, I've got a few announcements that I'd like to make. The first of these is that we have an up upcoming Africa Family Business Barometer. Uh, this is being um, done in collaboration with uh, KPMG and uh, the Nelson Mandela University. And the result of this is going to be re released before the end of the year. You want to certainly keep a lookout on that for that, as that's really going to give us a sense of how we're doing on that barometer in particular. I'm personally super excited about the Women Working for Change Summit, and that's coming up on the 24th of November. This is an online international event that is bringing together over 400 senior women uh, who are making up the constituencies of presidents, of chief executive officers, of board members, of executive committee members, heads of financial institutions, and even the heads of government agencies. And they're going to be all coming together to congregate and come towards this uh, call for action around women working for change. Uh, and in particular, this summit taking place on the 24th of November. Now, before you disappear, I have one final request to make of you, and that is to kindly please uh, fill in our satisfaction survey. The link to the survey is in the chat box. So all you need to do is press on the link and you will get a few questions that you can answer for us. Remember that these questions make uh, give us incredible data that ensure that every single experience that we're going to be putting together from now on is going to be increasingly to your standard and to your satisfaction. And that, ladies and gentlemen, brings me to the end of our two-day virtual summit. It also brings me to a point of thanking you profusely for allowing me to be your MC and your moderator over the last two days. From myself, Nozi Poshabalala, at the tip of the African continent in Johannesburg, it's thank you and goodbye.